We just talked about those, uh, the Elgren and Drax set yes. and the Murakami. So uh, how much are these paintings? Uh, the very large one is 400 and I think the smaller one are 180,000. Dollars? Dollars, yes. Okay. Did the, you sell them? No, not, not this one. We sell all the works of Murakami. And we have a show coming for Paris in, uh, in 10 days and uh, we, we sell a big part of the show. We are quite happy. I started to work with him in 1993. I was the first one to show him outside Japan. Yes. Oh my That's God. That's why I was able to, to, to show his work in Stockholm. Wow. Yes, I know. Yeah. My first solo show with him is 95. That's why people are confused because they don't understand we start to work with an artist before to do a solo show. Yeah. And at this time, shipping cost was so expensive. Yeah. To bring the works from Japan was... I, I explain always this, uh, this story of the European sculptures, you know, the girls pressing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was offering it for $12,000. For life size? Yes. Yes, oh. the production of this work would be $200,000 now. I was able to sell it for 10 only. I get $8,000, which was a fantastic deal for the production. But I make only 1,000 of margin. But this 1,000 margin was selling to what? Pay the shipping. Oh wow. To Paris. Wow. Yes. It must have been also very complicated to ship because they were very complex. And you know what? We was doing it with FedEx at this time. Okay. We did not have money to do a real shipping. I was a specialist to organize to put a lot of works in luggage and to do art fair without to organize shipping. To, to think about the works can be We all did that. Brought the suitcases yes, in, the, in the Kennedy airport. Yes. Did you go to the Gramercy? Uh, yes, for yeah. sure. But you know what? I was able to do Gramercy Park and Chicago two days after yeah. and bring everything. And I was convincing some artists to come with me and to take some luggage yeah. with me. And I was doing the custom paper by myself one, one year. Did you and do arrived custom? with a, a, a Damien Hurst medical cabinet with the crates. Something I, I, I'm selling for 1,400, uh, for 1,600 US because it was 2,000 and I was giving 20,000 discount. You know? But it's in the airport. So, but I bought back yeah. the piece and I was able to resell it at Gramercy Park for $70,000 and it was resell later 3 million. But okay, I'm arrived to the airport with that. It's a big crate. People were looking at me like, you know? And I was crying on the at the desk, you know, to make them agree to, to help me. But the problem is on the line, it was also clients. Look, I was crying here and... <laughs> <laughs> Hello. No, no, Were well, you <laughs> literally crying? Did you have tears in your eyes? Uh, I'm a good actor. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you did custom papers because many just like yes. me took him in a suitcase and say, it's uh, private for private use only. Oh, private use only. <laughs> uh, no, no, you have a, a special paper, they are green, the name is Carnet oh, Atea. Carnet, yeah. Carnet, you yeah, know? Yeah. And that I was a specialist to, to make this. Okay. It's fantastic, it was so, it's so stupid, the Carnet Atea organization. Yeah. You can do what you want with that. And one of the funny moments was when they see the photo of Erotin, the tribute in the luggage, you know? So I was like, what's that? Uh, that's me. Okay, go. <laughs> I remember at, later on at Amory Show, you showed a piece by um, Maurizio, which was like a, an Eames chair with a Nutella on. Yeah, you remember oh, that? Wow, yeah. It, it looked like shit. I can say that yes, without absolutely. insulting anybody. Like, because like it was many works we sell. Huh? <laughs> no, be no, but you know, <laughs> because of the Nutella, not because of the work. Ah, the, work okay, had, okay. the work had high quality, but because of the Nutella, it looked like it was covered in shit. Yes. And there was a lady in a in a in yes. an expensive coat. Yes, it's funny because this is a work protect himself. You know, all the time during art fair, we have to say, please, sir, can you be careful? You see, I do it in direct. That's all the day, you know. And this work, you know, was clearly showing like a sculptures, but many people don't take attention on anything yeah. they see a chair they want to see it on it they don't but you know for one time we don't have to to we have to do it again okay we have to put the nutella again we can be pissed off but trust me <laughs> they are pissed off too but such a pleasure and that to was have the revenge of the artworks <laughs> on the, all these people don't take attention you can make the experience you can ask to every dealers some people destroy your works in the front of you and you know what they said? Hey, 
It was in the middle. Yeah. Uh, and they just yes. walk out. They just yes. walk out. They are pissed off. They almost, they was almost hurt themselves. Oh my God, you have almost to apologize, yeah. you know? For sure. Maurizio didn't want to replace something like do not touch or, or this is an artwork for sure. We didn't do something like yeah. it was it was not really a trap because the works was clearly showing like a sculpture. Yeah, yeah. Look, what can we do? Uh, if they if they sit on this work it will damage the works for sure. Of course. I have another question. And if you don't want to answer, it's okay. I don't want to answer it. <laughs> Did you steal the toilet? Oh no. If one of us decided to do something like that to make the show more famous, we will do it maybe three weeks after the beginning. Because in a way they don't steal only the toilet. They steal also the communication about the quality of the show and about the fact Maurizio was doing new work. Because at the end, the rest of the world speak only about the toilet. What was not our goal because the toilet was showing at Guggenheim before. And the, the show is very good and I advise you to go to see it. You know what we're talking about. It's the Mauricio Catalan gold toilet that was exhibited at... Blyneim Palace. Blyneim and it's Palace. 80 kilo of uh, pure 18 carat of gold. You know, it's the value of this gold is um, 3 million dollars. And uh, we was at the party until 2 a.m. We was dancing in the castle. It was a great party. And on the morning, I exchanged message to congratulate Maurizio. And uh, I said, by the way, the toilet was stored this night. I take it like a joke, except I receiving an, uh, an email from CNN and an email from New York Times asking me to confirm the information. I come back to Maurizio who goes, it's not a joke. Tell me, no, I tell you, they stole the toilet. Said, Shit, you're looking at a joke. Shit. <laughs> if we need that to make people speaking about art, uh, it's uh, sad, but uh, it's maybe better to not speak about art. Sometimes in interviews, they make me speak about uh, Banksy. I'm like, okay, uh, why do I have to speak about Banksy, you know? Uh, He's not working uh, with Banksy. Absolutely. Yeah. But sometimes I suspect some people coming to talk to me to be Banksy. It's happened on different occasions mm. to test me. Uh, One day, I'm quite sure it was, I don't know. There were some rumors at some points that, that it was Damien Hurst. In fact, I was at the, the house of Damien in uh, Mexico, in the, on the beach, uh, nowhere, you know, and you have some graffiti of Banksy uh, mm -hmm. close to his house. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, he's a friend of uh, Damien. And, uh, but one guy coming at certain occasion and uh, in an art fair or uh, gallery during a dinners we organized. He was uh, a, a very big collector of Banksy, and he showed me on his phone different works. He was testing me clearly about my feeling. What was his appearance? He was with a very strong British accent, and like you, you hear me, I'm not so able to understand uh, a real British person. I'm quite sure it was him. Okay. I will never know. Why we are talking about Banksy? <laughs> okay, because we have time here. But when you are on a dark channel and you want to speak about your artist, you don't want to speak for an hour of Banksy. What keeps you so young? You look like 38. Oh, sorry, just... So tell us about your friendship with uh, Pharrell. Okay. At this time, I have a gallery in Miami, and my assistant from Miami tell me, oh, we, we get the visit of Farrell Williams, and he bought some print of Murakami. I was like, okay, cool. Tell him I'm coming to, to Miami, uh, I forgot how many times after, and Farrell invite me to a, a swimming pool party of a friend of him, oh. exactly like in your fantasy, yeah. you know, like uh, an MTV, uh, uh, movie. Bikini, bikini, uh, you arrive, you have many, many crazy cars in the front of the house and I'm received by the bodyguards of fire. They look at me like, mm -hmm. they bring me. We stay inside the house, I see the, the party from outside, you know. We discuss about different things, you know, we, uh, we have a good uh, uh, moment, you know. And he tell me, uh, do you want to stay for the party? And I said, you know what? Yes, I dream to stay for the party, but I have my plane in two hours and I have to leave. And finally, we see each other different times and I have an inspiration because I understand he was doing his own shop of uh, his uh, brand of uh, fashion. 
and I offered him to do some furniture. Which brand was that? Uh, uh, billionaire Boys Club. Oh yes. Yeah. And at the end, he designed only for th for th for this show only one chair in four colors. Mm -hmm. I tell him, okay, fine, you are fine, Williams, but you are nobody in design, you are nobody in the art world. No, let's say you have only one chair. I go to offer you the smaller room of all my space in Paris. Is it a teeny teeny room? And it will be in the middle of the show of Mister. Okay. He's smart. He said, "Okay, yes, you are right. Let's do that." And first, I created a relation with Mister because he really likes the work of Mister, and Mister did one of his uh, 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 movie uh, for one of his uh, song. And we start to make a, a, a collaboration with Murakami, and we did. A, uh, an incredible sculpture is going to be in auction with in uh, Hong Kong. Pharrell and no, I can connect, yes, together. together. And we did many things together. We did a show, girl show in Paris, where we get 900 people by day. Uh, the average was uh, quite big. And uh, and uh, and is you know I can tell you it's really my friends. We have a very a really nice relation and we are really uh, connected. And I understood that he introduced you to Kors. It's true, absolutely. It was two persons who introduced me, Sarah Andelman from College Shop in Paris and uh, Farel. And uh, yes, it was uh, the connection, yes. Many famous people introduce you to artists all the time. Oh yes, absolutely. Is that true? Oh yes, for sure. And many famous people want to show to the gallery. Mm -hmm. Many, let's say Farel also, including Farel, he want to make art works, you know. But you can't imagine the numbers, you know. Uh, 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 many filmmakers, many singers, many uh, uh, are from everywhere, yes. But we don't do a gallery just to be famous. For sure, if you have a gallery, uh, I can have a parallel programmation if I want of, uh, 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 let's say, uh, famous people. Uh, but I'm not a star faker. And uh, I was showing, for example, John Waters. But John Waters was a real artist before the art world was a fa fashionable. Yeah. He was showing with Colin Deland, with American, American Fine Art yeah. in New York. And I did two shows with John, but I was not showing the filmmaker. I was showing the artist. You know who is the John Warren. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Pink Flamingo. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's crazy. Some people coming and offer you to you show them. They are very famous. But in addition, they come with the clients. And you have quite guaranteed to sell. And, uh, and you have to say no, because you, because if you start like that, you'd never finish. It's, it's, it's yeah. crazy. And really? it becomes a different yes. gallery, different deal. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I like the way, your French way of saying, can you say Starfucker again? Star I'm not a Starfucker. Starfucker. Yeah. It's so charming in French. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then Pharrell collected some of your artists. Uh, yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Never enough. No, Fine, of, if you of, listen of me, course not. you have to buy me. I think Pharrell is going to see this on our YouTube channel. It's, Maybe he's going to be the first he subscriber. Knows. He's such a great guy. He's, a, he's really a very nice. Yeah. He made this furniture with the legs. Of yes, the, exactly. Yeah. And also the one with the very tank. Very sexy. Uh, the one with the tank. Maybe uh, you didn't see this one. Yes. When I'm in Paris, I'm sitting every day on it because yeah. this is a chair I use to put my shoes. Is it a multiple? Or a it's a multiple, yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure, Nicolas. Uh, you are always welcome. You know, it's you are so nice, very generous. Do you know in the world? Did you, you get that? We have a real... <laughs> oh Good luck with everything. Yes. Not that you need it because I, you're obviously yeah. very successful. In but fact, yes, it's always a question of luck, but it's, it's much hard work. more a question of work. Yeah, I know. This was my friend Emmanuel Perotin, who i known since we were very, very young. He was three years older than me. I think he was 25, I was 22. Today he's a big dealer. A big dealer. I was sorry, I, I, I thought he had 12 galleries. He only has six. 